What's up everybody? Welcome back to Black Sheep Family and Artism. My name is Nicole. If you're new here, if you're new here, skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
you send them to a home like me and Jay House or whatever, we keep your kid for probably two to three years, two to three years the state sit here and take your rights. So now you're uh, officially like state property. So at that point in time, me and Jay could adopt this child or we could keep fostering, but this child will be, uh, 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 adoptive parents will be notified that it's uh, such and such child is this old that we need to, you know, kind of adopt. Yeah, they will sit here and bring it to me and Jay first that, hey, you know, this parents, the parents have lost the rights. Uh, do you want to adopt or do you want to keep fostering or whatever? And we have that choice to make if we want to foster or adopt. Okay, with that being said, that's foster care. Like, we're, we kind of temper, we are like a foster parent. And I say we because I'm using us as an example. As foster parents, we will have to sit here and be like, you know, we, we already know that we don't want to adopt nobody's child or this, this, that, and the third, or we don't want to adopt a kid, you know, because we already have our own, or whatever reason, or we could want to adopt. But let's just say we don't want to adopt a child. We, we just want to foster. We just want to, you know, help as many kids as possible, and hopefully they, like, re re uh, they re uh, reunite. Whatever. Let's just say we want the kids to reconnect and go back home that's like the system's whole objective is if i take your kids because you're doing this you're doing that hopefully you get your stuff together and you get your kids out of foster care the kids go back home and the fact that that does not happen like with a foster family like that's what foster care is just that it's kind of like babysitting people kids long term and knowing that they might not never come back and get their kids but they might do come and get their kids like you could have a kid for a week and you could have a kid for three years like you never know how long you will have to have that child but you do know that the child will eventually either go back home or go back with an adoptive family like one or the other will happen i don't know if in arkansas you know if if they would just leave the kid with you and let you foster the kid forever I do not know that, but I do know that you, 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 you're not locked down with that commitment of having to be that kid parent. That kid is, is your responsibility, but it's not like your child. Like, it is, but it ain't. Like, it sounds weird, but like, legally, it's your child temporarily versus I have adopted you and I have accepted you within our family and you are here to stay and you will never have to go back to the system again. That's kind of like the difference. I hope I'm explaining this to where it makes sense to some people. Um... Uh, but adoptive parents, that's their sole thing. Like uh, adoptive parents that go through the same the process a foster family will go through. The only difference is they came in, coming in like, hey, I want to adopt a kid. They may not be able to have kids. Their kids might be older and they feel like they still got some life in them. And they can help this child, steer them in the right direction and stuff like that. So they just already know that they want to find a child to adopt. Like that's the difference when you adopt a child from state that is your child you can change that child name you can change that child um you change the child name they will take their biological parents off the birth certificates you will get a whole new birth certificate like when you illegally adopt a child that child is your child you cannot sit here and renege on the adoption from what i from what i had understood you couldn't sit here and just send that child back that is your kid that's like you sat here and literally push that child out or you and your husband sat here and literally had that child like that is all you it's no going back it's no maybe we're gonna place them with this family we could try to place them with that family maybe that family will sit here and want them like no like when you are adoptive parent you are going in here ready to get some kids and normally adoptive parents want kids that's two and under but normally that don't happen because kids only go to the system first for about two or three years before they even get up to being adopted so that brings me back to my next thing why a lot of people do foster to adopt or foster and adopt and a lot of caseworkers will want to know if you want to foster to adopt because they know if you're trying to foster to adopt that you're you're yeah you are foster a kid but you really want to keep that kid and when you when it's time to send a kid home with their biological parents if that time comes you're going to be resisting you're going to be finding stuff and finding reasons on why they shouldn't go home and this and that and third and why they should be your child and this and third so they like to keep them separate or whatever so what i will say a lot of people have sat here and fostered kids and got them at like a year old or whatever and once they got them to foster them they fostered the kid Oh yeah, some states, Arkansas, I don't think do that. Some states do let you do that. Some states let you foster to adopt. Like, 
some states will give you like a baby and say for instance this is six seven eighth child that's more than like gonna be in the system they will give you a baby and normally the parents rights get taken within a year or two or two to three years and then you can just go ahead and adopt the child and by this point you have had the child from newborn to however old they are but until that adoption go through you have to call a child by like their name and stuff like that it's some people that actually are like foster parents and they just were looking to foster a kid and they become you know the parents lost their rights and it's like oh well we just was fostering like we was just doing this short term and then you know like i said the parents lose their rights they give the foster family you know the opportunity to go ahead and adopt this child or to send this child to an adoptive family if it makes sense to y'all so that's the difference i honestly feel like this person should have if her heart was actually in the right spot to help kids i feel like she should have fostered to adopt you know that way you can build a bond and if you're not and if you change your mind like she did you know people won't be so mad people won't be so pissed people won't be looking at her with the side eye like you really did just do this for cloud so like i said i hope i like also let me say it in the video i'm not a professional i'm not a social worker i don't work for the uh, department of human services i don't work for child protective services i just know people that have had their kids took in and giving back i know people that just had their kids took in and actually like the state has a really took your parental rights and put your child in like a group home and stuff like that like this is stuff that foster kids go through um so yeah, I know a little bit. Uh, I know a little bit more about it than most people probably would, just because I, my family is my family, y'all. Uh, anyway, I hope this like get y'all, let y'all understand why so many people are mad at this. Uh, I was gonna call her Martha Stewart, y'all. Uh, Mika, Micah, whatever, Stouffer, 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 I don't know what the her name is, but that's why because she could have handled this all the way different she didn't have to sit here and go pick out this little boy like because adoption like i said is all the way different adoption is hey we want a baby we want to bring them home this is going to be their forever home since she automatically talked about this little boy as if he's a pet giraffe or something Also, another thing that I was going to sit here and say about this whole topic is in the video, like in the snippets that people have been playing because I refuse to sit here and go watch the whole video of what she was saying because people are like basically people are replaying how she was like, oh, we will, we, will, we will never return him. You know, that is our child. That is our child. Like a lot of people have problems with the fact that she's sitting here. Um, what do you call it? Uh, deleting all of his pictures and his. Uh, what do you call it uh, videos with him in it off YouTube what I will say that I do know about when you have a child that you're putting up for adoption the adoption agency may she may have to legally do that she may have to legally act as if he never existed and she might have to actually like delete his stuff because now he's going to be put back into a foster care so unless they have found somebody that adopted him or the adoptive people could be like I don't want you to have any of his stuff on your channel or on your platforms so that could be another reason why she's actually deleting uh him as if he never existed because she might have to delete him legally because that's no longer her child um so yeah i just wanted to say that but also for the people that's like you know for her husband it's like you know she tried everything to work with him that was supposed to be your child that's what you do for your kid you you try everything like duh, I'm not thinking you know brownie points for doing what you're supposed to be in first place. Like, come, get the get out of here. 